Barking and burnouts, how hundreds of gang members shut down a community, what the Prime Minister and police are doing about it. Almost one month on from the devastating Loafers Lodge fire, how Wellingtonians plan to reflect on the tragic day and what the experts are picking ahead of the latest GDP figures. At Marie, I'm Sherry Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Prime Minister Chris Hipkins has condemned the activity of hundreds of gang members in Bay of Plenty towns of Apotiki and Fakatane yesterday. The towns were effectively shut down as a mongrel mob funeral procession made up of hundreds of motorbikes, cars, utes and vans caused massive disruption to the community. Police have vowed to impound vehicles, issue fines and charge drivers, while officers were also investigating multiple reports of shots being fired at cars in Fakatane yesterday afternoon. Nationals police spokesman Mark Mitchell, meanwhile, says gang members had become bold and were terrorising locals, describing the activity as outrageous. A remembrance service is being held tonight at the capital St Paul's Cathedral for those who died at Loafers Lodge. The service is open to the public, allowing people to reflect on the fire that killed five people a month ago tomorrow. Wellington City Missioner Murray Edbridge says the blaze changed the city forever, showing the unsatisfactory conditions people were living in. He says as a city we should expect better. Meanwhile, in the UK, thousands have gathered at a Nottingham University vigil overnight in remembrance of the two 19-year-old students killed in Tuesday's attack. Barnaby Webber and Grace O'Malley Kuma were two of three people stabbed to death. Speaking at the vigil, Barnaby's father David talked of how much his son had loved his time at university. He added he can't comprehend how he'll deal with losing his boy. Well, I know Barnaby will be super touched by everyone that's here and he, he loved it, he loved it here, he couldn't wait to come back, it drove me mad, but <sighs> his heart will be with you guys forever and thank you so much. Back here, New Zealanders are changing their food shopping behaviour as prices continue to rise. StatsNZ data shows food cost 12.1% more in the year to this May than the last. Fruit and vegetables had the largest increase at 18.4%, followed by grocery prices at 12.7%. Foodstuff's CEO Chris Quinn says consumers are choosing more low-priced brands and discretionary items are no longer making it into baskets. And we'll know this morning whether New Zealand has tipped into a technical recession. The latest GDP figures for the March quarter will be released at 10.45am. Bank economists are split over what they'll show with some forecasting a small increase and others a drop. ASB economist Nathaniel Keel says they're expecting a marginal 0.1% growth, while Westpac senior economist Michael Gordon says they anticipate a 0.4% drop. Some of that is going to be cyclone disruptions, so that's not a, uh, an ongoing thing, but some of it is a genuine slowing in the economy. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.